Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator and welcome back to RimWorld. That's right, we are back at Congatro Oasis, uh, our new colony. Last time we actually abandoned uh, Trinaga Town, this he absolute hell on earth. Uh, we could always come back here at some point to, to do something with it, but uh, for now we are here in Congatro Oasis and uh, things are, are actually looking pretty good for us uh, so far. Uh, what is wrong with Camel? Is muscle parasites. He can't walk. What? Why? So, so yeah, some of our guys do have uh, muscle parasites, which we'll have to keep tending to. But that's fine, um, and that's the reason why I believe Camel isn't walking. Uh, he's kind of fucked by them. I don't know how dangerous these are. Uh, the prisoner has got into a daze. I really don't care. I think what we want to try and do then, yeah, we want to try and get another research table. Maybe we'll turn this area up here into our research area for now. Um, and we'll try and get, uh, Crow, I guess, on, on the research again, because he's not really, or Camel. Camel currently isn't really doing much. He's just kind of lying there. I'm actually going to get a saloon door, because these are actually quicker to go through than the regular doors. Tanya has also got a muscle parasites now. F fuck, okay. I think we're all going to have to go through this muscle parasite sickness, unfortunately. Uh, it seems, it does seem like a problem. Man, these guys are having a great time. Look at them. They're all just having a good chat. As soon as this guy cooks his meal, uh, wait, what did you, Jess, what, he like half cooked the meal and then he just stopped. The prisoner's gone berserk, hang on, wait, uh, oh my god, he's got a weapon, why, oh, I forgot to take the weapons away from them, fuck, Crow, get in there and disarm this man, use your, your special technique, there you go, good job, now stab him. Try not to kill him though, please. Uh, Tanya, uh, please tend to Johnson. We don't want her to die. Uh, we do want to take these weapons away from them though. Do they have any more weapons on them? No, no. Okay. Uh, capture this guy again. Fuck. That's not good. Jess is literally running away. He's so scared. Uh, Jess, no. Tend to this bitch who who just tried to kill us. And also, uh, please, Crow, take his, his hatchet away. Oh, God. The, the prisoners are just going crazy, trying to kill each other. <sighs> What's this guy looking like, anyway? 4.3, 10.8. Okay, you know what? They're, they're okay. Oh, someone needs to feed this prisoner, though. Feed this prisoner. There we go. Visitors have... No. Fuck off. Uh, Marat is in a life-threatening coma. Oh, Lord. He's in a coma. Fuck. Crow, what did you do to this man? Carol, why can't you walk? What is wrong with you? I don't understand why he can't walk. And we are almost out of food again. I mean, all of this stuff is set to harvest. I maybe need to prioritize that. Why don't we um actually put your growing to three? And then plant cut. Hopefully that means that she'll go and harvest th this fruit that's already here. Because that's the stuff we kind of need right now. Uh, Crow, could you please build a bed? There we go. He's building some beds. Excellent. Oh, it's the wrong way around. That's fine. We can turn them around. A masterwork bed? Holy shit. Jess, you're going to be very happy with this. Uh, I would like to assume. We're going to have to reinstall it, though, so that it's the right way around. Conversion. Oh. Crow tried to convert Jess, and Jess is now... Part of the gladiator the gladiatorial way is making a bit of a comeback, really. Camel is starving to death, guys. Please feed him. Where are our meals? Is Jess just not f finishing these meals? I honestly don't think I've seen a single meal. Do they just eat them immediately? Ah, oh, they're invisible. This is probably a bug because of the uh, the the new update that happened with the meals. So they are there. They're just invisible. Okay. Well, that's fine. I suppose. Um, at least it means we can see them up here. I can see that we have meals in storage. So that's fine. Insulting spree. Uh, Jess is going on an insulting spree for Crow. Uh, Tanya. No, Crow. Try and calm this man down. Good lord. No. I hope death finds you earlier than expected, Crow. Uh, Jess, it's not too late to banish you from this colony. I'm just saying. Uh, Tanya's bed is also the wrong way around. Uh, it's fine. We'll turn it around whenever we can. Uh, you know what, Jess? You're not having your masterwork bed anymore. That now belongs to Crow. 
You can have this this one, this excellent bed instead. Uh, what's wrong with you? Insulted times 10. Oh, fucking hell, Jess. How long does that last for? 1.5 days? Minus 33 mood? Oh, fuck, Jess. What have you done? Uh, what? A duck died, and they're angry at us. Minus... It's not our fucking fault the duck got killed by a, a rattlesnake. Wait, what? Ah! Oh, it is really low priority on uh, Crow and Camel can't walk. That's probably the reason why. Oh, what? This one's gonna die too then, no? Yeah, extreme malnutrition. Fuck! Feed Johnson! Uh, the raw food? Yeah, yeah, it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, what? We were close to recruiting this guy as well, and we uh, we just allowed him to starve to... Oh. This is all cat. Why can't Camel walk? I don't understand. He also is starving to death too, kinda uh, a, a small amount. I don't understand why these muscle parasites are so bad on this guy that he can't walk. I think it's because he's missing a toe as well, and that's probably kind of contributing to his movement problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just feel free to bring your elephant into our house and stomp all over our floor. Look at the fucking dirt. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are these guys so angry? Uh, where's the goat? Kill the fucking goat. Uh, where is it? There's so many goats here that aren't ours. This is all your fault, Jess. Ah, oh, you know, he failed. It's all his fault because he went on an insulting spree and now Crow is just so upset. Who, who allowed those elephants to walk around in here? Look at all the mess. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Um, no, no, you're not coming in. Uh, allow guests. Nope. Uh, allow guests on these ones. Also, nope. Uh, storyteller change. Phoebe Chillax, okay. And, uh, a meteorite shower. Huh. Look at that, some gold. We've got compacted plasteel, and we've got some jade, and a bunch of, uh, steel. Okay. And Phoebe Chillax is in charge. That's good. That means, hopefully, things will be... What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Why can't you feed people? Oh, another prisoner starved to death. That's ridiculous. Oh, at least that's two less mouths to feed. A rooster has gone mad. Well, hopefully these royal tribute collectors will shoot it when it... Oh, it's in the other map. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, psychic soothe. That's good. That's actually going to bring the moods up a little bit. Cargo pods. Oh, <gasps> prosthetic toe. <gasps> we can give that to this bitch. Wait, where are those? Those are in the other map. Jess, the time has come. I know you've never been to Trinaga Town, but it's time you make a little expedition over there, I think. Uh, just you. Yep, let's go. We're gonna go get those prosthetic toes. It's just a whole bunch of prosthetic toes. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, yeah. And we can also grab some of this food while we're here, too. All right, are you ready, Jess, to start moving? Because I kind of want you to start moving. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's go. Have you got all of the toes? No, there's two more. Just pick them up. I tell you what, pick them up both. Bring those prosthetic toes, all five of them. Uh, you're already carrying two, I believe. And I'm also going to ask you to just take literally as much of this food as you can carry. All right, Jess is grabbing everything, and then he's going to leave the map. And then we'll, we'll start coming back. Crow is actually grabbing some of these oranges as well. That's good. Okay, at least the moods in the colony are actually up a little bit now. And Camel is now depressed. Because of his bad mood. Great. Uh, that's another minus 12 permanent mood. Oh, Camel, you're, you're a fucking... I, I fucking hate this guy. He doesn't do anything. He just lies there because he doesn't want to move. Install prosthetic toe. Uh, on your left big toe. This one. Alright, Camel, you're getting a new toe. Let's hope it works. Alright, bitch. You better, you better, once you wake up from this anesthetic, you better not be lying on the floor anymore. We might have to actually execute you for, for treason. Oh, we want a combative celebration. Be begin orgy. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, okay, sure. 
Actually, before we do that, though, why don't we turn uh, Crow here into the Grand Chief of our... What does the Grand Chief need? A deer skull hat. There we go. Look at this. Okay, good. Um, and now, let's have our combative celebration. Oh, should we wait until Camel wakes up, maybe? Manhunter pack. Oh, God. Uh, a pack of Great Danes. How many? Two? Okay, that's fine. You got some Great Danes. At least now, Crow actually... He has, he has like, work drive. He can call on a person to work harder for some time. Uh, combat command. Boosts the combat skills of everyone nearby. Uh, where are you? Okay. These Great Danes are on their way, so get ready. Look, they're coming. Oh, my lord. Be careful. Crow is really fucking good at fighting people. Or dogs, in this case. Oh, we're getting raided by the Choco Treaty. Oh, they're in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, take whatever you want, honestly. Take the rice. Who cares? Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm going to abandon. There we go. It, it, I've left it. So who cares? Uh, they can they can raid that all they want. Camel is starving again because no one wants to feed him. You know what? I honestly don't blame you guys because uh, he's kind of a big old drama queen. <laughs> I can't walk because I, I, I lost a toe. I don't understand why he can't walk. Everyone else is able to walk. Uh, we might as well have this celebration then because uh, this guy is not actually going to come. He's not, he's not going to stand up. So I don't think it's going to be a very good one, but... The party is beginning. Let's have a party, guys. Hell yeah. Uh, it was actually fun. It was considered fun. So they'll get plus five mood for, for six days. That's good. Uh, except for Camel, because he didn't attend. <laughs> All right. She's actually started growing some stuff. So there's this rich soil here, which is actually quite good, because uh, it grows faster on there. It's 140% fertility, which is actually really nice. I'm actually going to say, look, because Jess is decent at plants too. How about, Tanya, you prioritize research. Jess, prioritize. You can you can do some uh, some growing. We've got meals here. We've got three, and honestly, eating raw food isn't the end of the world. It's just fruit. So, <laughs> do you know what he's like? From Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Grandpa Joe, who just, oh no, I can't, I can't get out of bed. Oh, you're gonna have to just bring me food and everything, guys. I just, I can't walk. I, I'm so confused about this guy. I don't understand why he can't walk. We could, we could actually, if we wanted to, we could have uh, Crow accuse him of something and then we could execute him for treason against our, <laughs> against our colony. We might need to get more medicine, you know. We're going through it pretty quickly. We only have six left. Um, how about we get as much as we can? We can actually grow a heal root, interestingly. Um, let's just try and get as much as nine. That's not really as much as like 18. 25 total, 34. Yeah, we'll harvest all of that. Oh, we can make a fishing zone. That could be good. <gasps> yeah, look at this. Try and catch some large fish over here. Who can fish? Who's good at it? Crow. All right, Crow. Uh, you know what? Do some fishing. It's a bit slow, but, it, you know, we'll, we'll get some fish. That's actually pretty good. All right, we've researched hinges and gates. I don't even care about this stuff. I'm just trying to go through all this Neolithic shit so that we can maybe start moving on to the next stuff. I think it levels up. Uh, or there might be a mod that I need to make it so that we go into the medieval tech. Okay, so I just realized something. We need a mod. Uh, there's a mod called Tech Advancing. I'm going to actually install that. And uh, what that will allow us to do is we should probably be in the medieval stage now with all the tech that we have researched. I just didn't realize that in the vanilla game, you actually apparently can't advance your tech level by researching everything. So yeah, we are at 50%, which allows us to actually start researching some of this medieval stuff. Um, we can still research some of these extra Neolithic things, but uh, with 50% of it researched, it means we can start researching some of this more advanced stuff, which is good, because uh, I feel like we do need to start doing that. Um, so we could now go for medieval storage or storage boxes. They're both pretty good. Uh, storage boxes might be better because that allows us to store a lot more resources. I'm going to do that. This is pretty good for like, I guess, storing. Uh, we'll, we'll do both of them. We'll, we'll queue them both up. So, Camel, uh, 
I'm actually kind of thinking he's becoming such a, a drain on the colony that we might have to, I don't know, we might have to accuse him of treason. We're literally feeding him and he's just being a freeloader. He's doing nothing, literally nothing. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We might have to have a trial for Camel soon. I might actually do that. Uh, what I'm actually kind of thinking of doing as well, turning this into like, the kitchen and turning this into our, our like, big storage room. Um, get all this stuff moved out of the barracks and we'll have it stored in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's go a wall here, right? Go across. We need to actually dismantle some of these pillars here, these columns. Again, this isn't going to be our permanent base, but for now we will be kind of living here. We might as well make use of it. We want to deconstruct all of this and I'm going to like split this room in half. So the bottom half will be for like generic storage, it'll be like a warehouse and this will be for food storage. And then we'll convert this room here into our kitchen. And that means we'll get all of this stuff moved out of the barracks and we'll get our kind of cooking area moved out of there as well. We'll actually get like maybe a fuel stove, which will be better for cooking. Uh, how are we doing with this? Not great. Uh, transport board crashed. Glasses from the White Bluff Settlement. Uh, glasses, are you any good? No. And you're bleeding out in two hours. Quite honestly, I don't care. Um, I'm just going to leave you to bleed out. <laughs> Yeah, just leave her. Uh, how are you doing on the research? Quite slow. Yeah, she's not great, but she is getting better slowly. She's already gone up to 4.5. She started at 4. So she's already up to 4.5, so she'll get a bit better. Um, Camel was only a 6.2, but he did have a passion in in this. I'm talking about him like he's already gone. Uh, I mean, we might actually get him back. 210% on the 10 quality. So... If he, if we get this muscle parasites cured on Camel and he still doesn't come back to us, then uh, I think we're going to have to execute him for treason because <laughs> uh, he's a bit of a liability at the moment. We survived a year. Holy shit. We've survived a whole year. Um, that's crazy. Uh, we've actually survived a year. Uh, what's this? Concrete blocks. Man, Crow, you're doing really good here. Look at this shit. He's done so much. How are your muscle parasites doing? 173%. How are yours? 276. Okay, so Jess is almost healed. Tanya has a little way to go, and Camel is almost healed too. So if Camel is fully healed and he still won't stand up, we are we're gonna just dispose of him, I think. Cause yeah, he's I'm pissed off, and on top of that, I'm sick. Do you know what, Camel? Fucking get over it. Everyone else is sick too, and they're not lying in bed for however long you've been lying. How long have you been lying in bed? I don't even know. I, like, since since winter. It's, it's the 2nd of April, May. I think he's been lying in bed for literally, like, a quarter of a year. We did our celebration, uh, like, the gladiatorial, or the combative, yeah, the 2nd of December. I think we did it on, like, the 10th. Um, so, but he's been there for so long that we, we had that celebration when he was still lying in bed. Let's get a butcher table first. We're going to get a butcher table up. I guess we'll get it just here. And we're going to get a fueled stove up there as well. And we'll get uh, some stools so that we can work at them a bit more efficiently. Tanya reached level 5 in intellectual. That's pretty good. She's getting a bit better at this. Uh, so now, yeah, we can cook We can cook our meals on here. Oh, we can cook better meals here too. Look, vegetarian fine meals. It's actually too high a level. All right, suspend that for now. Why don't you just cook? regular simple meals until like just cook literally forever or no until we have yeah 20 20 20 is probably a good idea oh this is actually faster to cook on as well it looks like oh wow we've got 10 meals here already invisible meals okay uh we're slowly transferring all of this stuff over and tanya is nearly done on that research too and once this is done we'll actually get some real storage uh in in here like actual storage boxes and stuff We've got over a thousand steel, which is just kind of lying on the floor everywhere, and it's taking up so much room. Same with these blocks. There's so many, like, slate blocks and shit that are just... There we go. And a raid. Uh, one guy. We'll get Crow to, to deal with you when you come over here. You know what, Crow? Grab a club. We'll try and club club him to death instead, because, uh... We don't want you to, to kill our prisoners, right? Colonist needs trip. Camel. <gasps> is it time? Camel. Is it time for you to finally get back up? Oh. Oh. 
Oh. It is no longer capable of walking. Yes. Get up. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a fucking Christmas miracle. Hey, uh, let's get Tanya. You're no longer a researcher. Camel, you are a researcher now. Um, it's kind of your only job. Because you're not very good at anything else. Uh, there is a dry thunderstorm, so we need to watch out for fire. We also have a a bulk goods trader. They will probably deal with the raider when she comes, actually. Oh, she's fast as fuck. Look at her go. Holy shit. Why is she so fast? Ah! Run! Okay, it was just a bruise. Simply a scratch. Go on. Disarm her. Okay, good. He did it. Okay, beat her down. You fucking kidding me? Semi-coherent mechanites. They enhance the victim's strength, but also cause intense pain. What is wrong with you? Oh, it's because you're a wimp. Oh my god. We just got him back. Oh. Who else has them? Fibrous mechanites. Oh. Tanya, I'm so sorry. You haven't even healed from... The muscle parasites, but at least they actually kind of offset the parasites, right? Uh, capture her. We might need her because, uh, we might have to get rid of Camel, actually. Uh, Tanya, are you good? What are you doing? You're cowering. Well, the, the threat is done, so you don't need to cower any longer. Oh, yeah, we've got these storage boxes now, so that's pretty good. Well, once she's all, uh, healed up. Bro, don't worry about it. She's fine. Try and keep this one fed, guys. Maybe we can actually recruit her. A wooden crate for storing items. How much do they store? Only two in, in this one. What about uh, this one? This uh, stores six I, uh, stacks total. What about these big ones? A large pile of crates. Twelve total. Okay. I feel like we want to go for these ones for the steel. Let me get... Let's try and get a few of them. Let's get like, I don't know, three. Uh, I think we have to put Tanya back on the research until Camel stops being a big baby again. Uh, fire. Oh my lord. Uh, hello? Could, at least you're, yeah, you, you, you're, you're on it. Good, good job. I think it was the thunderstorm. There was like a dry thunderstorm, right? Um, we might have to actually get more of these big crates, though, uh, because uh, the, the, the storage is probably not enough to store all of these, these blocks and stuff. Right, uh, I think this is a pretty good place for us to, to finish off here. Uh, we've done a lot of kind of, uh, kind of reorganizing on the base here. We've kind of, uh, built up this storage room. Uh, and we've got this massive storage room for food. Probably way too much storage space for food right now. Um, we've got our research table going here. Tanya's been, uh, researching away. Camel today has been an absolute bitch. Uh, he- I came very close to executing him earlier, and we might still have to execute him for being, uh, a bitch. Yeah, we've, uh, contended with not too many raids, actually. This has been very, very peaceful for the most part. We did manage to get a prisoner, so we'll try and not let this one starve to death. Um, and we'll keep we'll keep powering through this research. Hopefully Tanya will uh, Overtake camel as a research. She is she, she is catching up She's at 5.42 now and he's only a 6.2. So uh, she is catching up uh, If we can recruit Al Goot uh, She's pretty good at crafting so uh, we could get her to be like crafting us some weapons and and uh, you know clothing and stuff, but uh, overall we're doing a lot better. I think moving here was definitely the best solution because uh, we were really not making any progress at uh, Tronaga Town, whereas here, things are definitely looking up. So let's hope they continue to do that. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.